seriously. Amen. So don't think um, anything can happen now. Praise the Lord. Don't think anything can happen now. What's wrong with our screen? Bro, is it a lie? Be beautiful. Job 35. Job 35. From verse 9. There are some times that God just wants us to sing songs. Amen. Sing songs to him. Amen. And um, are we there? Job 35 from verse 9. It says, people cry out because of excess of oppression. They cry out for help because of the power of the mighty. Verse 10. It says, but no one says, where is God my creator? Who gives songs in the night? Hallelujah. No one. So it's like every time we want to pray, Abby, we want to pray. But there are times too, God wants to hear songs. It says, no one. No one. And the oppression continues. And they are crying. But there's, there's something that would have released them from their oppression. Songs of deliverance. Samuel said, and you surround me with songs of deliverance. God surrounds his people with songs of deliverance. He said, no one. No one. Asked. And says, where is God my creator? Who gives songs in the night? Who teaches us more than the wild animals? You see, God wants to teach us that when we sing, when we worship, something also happens. You remember, as we say, Paul and Silas, they pray, they sang. They, are, they, are, they just sang. An earthquake happened. Praise the Lord. Don't think that because we just want to sing and want to worship, nothing is going to happen. Something will happen when we sing the Lord's song. You say, how do we sing the Lord's song? The Lord's song is as powerful as his word. Praise the Lord. How do we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? His song is as powerful as his word. So this morning, I want us to pray. Lord, cleanse my lips. Cleanse my heart. As I sing to you, there was a battle of three kings between Jeroham, the son of Ahab. And Jeroham invited Jehoshaphat to come and help him. And when they called on Elisha, Elisha had to employ the services of a minstrel. And the Bible said, the moment the minstrel began to minister, the hand of the Lord came upon Elisha. I want us to pray. Lord, as we minister, all of us are singing to the Lord today. Lord, let your hand rest upon us. Father, let your hand rest upon us as we minister to you today. Let your hand rest upon us. As we sing your song today, Lord, let your hand rest upon us. Let your presence come within us. Let there be deliverance. Let there be salvation. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Come on, let's feel the air. Lift our voices and begin to appreciate God. Lift, worship Him. Tell Him, say, God, let Your hands be upon us.
Come on, give him your worship this morning.
sing and I will never be a silent. I will always worship you. Oh, as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Everybody lift your voice and say, and I will, and I will. Give you 
Now we're made to understand that worship is what we are made to do. And when we pray and when we worship God, what happens? When we worship God, what happens? When we pray, when we worship, what happens? So I want to see worshipers in the house this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, I want us to lift our voices and begin to thank God. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness to me. From the rising sun to the setting sun, I will pray.
when you said that did he come and surpass Jesus? Who is he that can stand before you? Say, who is he that can question your power? Say, who is he that can question your greatness? Everything I need, God. Everything I 
Nothing said that then he come back to pass you. No one can question your grace. Who is he that can open the door when you shut the door? Who is he that can shut the door when you open the door? You are mighty God, yeah. This moment, I want us to lift up our voices and begin to appreciate God. Come on, this is a time for you to thank Him. That thing that, that thing that you you've been confused about, that you've been scared. Why not pray that prayer this morning? Come on, raise your voices and begin to submit to your Maker. You're my. You're mighty, Lord. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you climb up. Coming after you. There's no one you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. I'm that precious to you. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. So no shadow you will light up, no shadow you will light up. Yeah. Mountain you won't climb up, oh, coming after me. God, you are unstoppable. No you won't kick down, lie won't tear down. I'm that precious. I don't know about you, but I'm that precious. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Come it out to me. No one you won't kick down. You just your mind.
if you don't know that today we are here to tell you that you are that precious to God you are that special to God he leaves everything behind and chases after you so if you're not going with anything this morning we want to tell you that he has your back he's right there beside you if you feel like there's nobody around you he's right there all you have to do is submit just submit to him tell him what you want and he'll do that for you hallelujah That's my best part of that song. I don't deserve it. Still you gave yourself away. Come on, at this moment, I just want us to appreciate God this morning. to explain it but it's like nobody can really tell you how you connect with God it's like a personal relationship so sometimes when people come and then you want them to actually push you to say something to appreciate him I, don't, I find it overwhelming because it's more like they don't know that relationship you have with him so why do you need somebody to actually tell you how faithful he has been? So at this moment, I just want us to give God praise because he deserves it. that you have been set free you have been set free Party. 
to fear, to fear, to poverty, to poverty, to stagnation, to stagnation, to failure, to failure. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave. the song. He said, we cry, our Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Every time I sing this song, I smile in my spirit because it's more like an assurance that everything is settled. We cry, our Father, yes, God, hallowed be your name. From general to deserve from this day to Sunday say we cry I'm a father we cry I'm a father there's nobody like you Lord nobody like you Lord nobody like you Lord
We are going to pray. That thing that you couldn't do by the ministry of songs, the hand of the Lord will come upon you. Elisha could not minister. In 2 Kings chapter 3, And Elisha said in verse 15, But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him, Elisha. And he began to speak. I want you to pray. Father, let your hand rest upon me. I want you to pray that what I couldn't do in the mighty name of Jesus, you must do it. Malika Tela Grasaliga Buscata. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your hand rest upon me. Father, this week in the mighty name of Jesus, and this year in the mighty name of Jesus, let your hand rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, rest your hand upon me. Can you ask the Lord to rest his hand upon you? The hand of the Lord is an energizer. The hand of the Lord is a supplier. The hand of the Lord is a propeller. The hand of the Lord is an activator. The hand of the Lord brings power. The hand of the Lord brings favor. I want you to pray and say, Father, by the reason of today's worship, in the mighty name of Jesus, let the heavens be open unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, rest your hand upon me. Can you pray? Let your hand rest upon me. I must achieve. In the mighty name of Jesus, I must deliver. In the mighty name of Jesus, I must fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus, my assignment must be fulfilled. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your hand rest upon me today. In the mighty name of Jesus, your hand of glory, your hand of power. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malika Taligrala Sakata. Can somebody pray and say, Father, Lord God, let your hand rest upon me. Malika Tali Salakatu. In the mighty in the name of Jesus, can you pray today and say, Father, by the reason of this worship, my Father, my God, can somebody pray and say, Father, let your hand rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand rest upon me. Let it rest upon my destiny. Let it rest upon my marriage. Let it rest upon my business. Let it rest upon my ministry. Let it rest upon my children. Let it rest upon my womb. Makatale grakataya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the hand rest upon me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, let your hand, your mighty hand of glory, rest it upon me. The hand of impossibility. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the hand rest upon me. Lord, your right hand of power, let it rest upon me. Can you pray and inquire of the Lord and request of the Lord in the name of Jesus? Lord, let your hand rest upon me. In the mighty name name of Jesus Maleka regata sakata ila gotaleka de saka ikale grala sale in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray you see that hand Jeremiah 32:17 says ha lord god ha when when God starts with ha in his word is powerful. Ha, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and what? Stretch out arm. There is nothing too hard for you. That hand is the hand of no impossibility. That is the hand of creation. 
He said, you have made by the stretching out of that hand. It is that hand I want you to ask of the Lord to rest upon you because when that hand rests upon you, you cannot be less than achiever. You must achieve. He said, nothing, nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard. I want you to pray. I don't know the difficulty of last year. I don't know the difficulty you have seen ahead of this year. But you have to pray and ask of the Lord. Let your hand of power. Let your hand of glory. Let your hand that nothing is impossible. Wait, let it rest upon me. Can somebody pray and say, Father, I don't know if it is in your work that the fear is. I don't know if it is in your business that the fear is. But when the hand of the Lord rests upon upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you must move. When the hand of the Lord rests upon you, you must change location. When the hand of the Lord rests upon you, you must change designation. When the hand of the Lord rests upon you, you must change position. When the hand of the Lord rests upon you, your name will change. I want you to pray and say, Father, let your hand rest upon me. In the name of Jesus, Father, Father, the rest your hand upon me your hand of power rest it on me your hand of glory rest it on me nothing will be possible for me in the mighty name of jesus i hope somebody's praying let your hand rest let the 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 rest in the name of jesus in my workplace lord let your kaliyanabo sakata let it rest upon me yakate nebo saliada lekata nebo saliada malekata lega sakata ila gratata malekata sa let it rest sakata lekata malekata se reka posa let it rest upon me is somebody praying malekata le engage 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 makata te robasa regata sa ikalekato can you pray let the rest upon me in the name of jesus is somebody praying lord let your hand rest on me your hand of power 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 your hand of yeah 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 Makata, yeka, malegete, yala kata ya, ila rado sane. Can somebody pray? Yaka tarepo, yada boshale. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Listen to me. Power, by definition of physics, is the ability to do work. Maybe you were tired last year. Maybe last year was a disappointment. Maybe the goals were not achieved. Maybe the mileage were not reached. Maybe your failure of last year is still facing you in your face today. When the hand of God rests upon you, when you engage God this morning and tell, and tell the Lord, Father, that same hand, that created the heavens that created the earth the hand of power the hand of ability father rest upon me this year i must achieve can somebody begin to pray and say this year by this hand i move in the hand of god i move by the right hand of god i engage by the right hand of god in the mighty name of jesus i deliver by the right hand of god over my life can you pray the right hand of God over ya 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 boka da rada sataka malega tara bosaka ta raga ta sakata ra makata la boka ta ra ye katara bosata olu e gbo wa le mi lori e gbo wa agbara le mi lori olu e gbo wa agbara le mi lori e lu agbara le mi lori ikara bosaka ta masaka ta le raga ta ra bosata makate ye 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 raga ta ra bosa le katara basa my father my god my father, my God, rest your hand upon me. Oh, you brought me in the name of Jesus. Yakale Katara, Makatara Basa, Oluesh Soragbara, 
In Jesus' name we pray. Listen to me. A lot of us have been in a position for, for so long. It's not that you don't have capacity. The capacity is just small. That's the problem. The capacity is just small. You know what? The guy at the pool of Bethsaida, he didn't say he couldn't move. Listen, he didn't say he couldn't move. He could move. But the movement was slow. He could move. He could move. Before he gets there, that's what I told Jesus. He said, before I get there, somebody is being helped and that person is being carried and he gets it. It's not that you couldn't move. It's not that you could not do. It's just that your doability is small. Let me tell you, when the hand of God rests upon you, there's a transfer of capacity. Oh. Elisha said, and it energized. It energized. Some of us need energy. Not ordinary energy. Spiritual energy. God's kind of energy that is not confined by time and space. Listen to me. The guy said, before I could get there. So before you get there, somebody has gotten there before you. I want you to pray because there must be a transfer of capacity. When the hand of God rests upon you, there's a transfer of wisdom. There's a transfer. Wisdom is power. Wisdom, wisdom is something that people don't have. But when you have it, your, your story begins to travel far. And people like Queen Sheba will be coming to see the kind of wisdom wisdom that this person has and they bless the wisdom i want you to pray and say father by your right hand let capacity be transferred i don't know the capacity that you need but somebody needs a capacity that is unique i want you to pray and say father let the right hand let the rest upon me this morning let me be a transfer of capacity in the mighty name of jesus lord let there be a transfer of capacity my let that let your right hand of power, your my father, stretch it out on me. Can somebody pray today? I must deliver this year. I must deliver this year. I must deliver this year. Much more than last year. Spirit, soul, and body. In the mighty name of Jesus, what is not completed must be completed. In the mighty name of Jesus, what was abandoned must be revived. In the mighty in the name of Jesus, uh, what I put in the cooler must be revisited. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, let your heart rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, can you ask the Lord? Uh, let your heart rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in Jesus' name we pray. The hand of God, if it rest upon you, even kings will not deny you. Ezra 7 6. Put Ezra 7 6. Why? Because Ezra 7 6. Put it on the board. When the hand of God, this Deborah, that'll be your testimony this year. You don't understand? This Deborah. Eh? This precious. This terminal. When they want to write your history at the end of this year, how you achieved, how you made it, when they want to write it, even when you are disenfranchised, even when situations are not in your favor, because Ezra was in a strange land. They were taken captivity. They were taken in captivity. But when they will write your story, at December 31st, they will say, this Daniel went up from Babylon. He was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given him. And the king, hallelujah, the king did what? Granted him how many? All according to the hand of the Lord 
is God upon him. It is the hand of favor, the hand of no denial. When you step into that office, why the hand of God is upon you and you begin to make requests, even when you don't know anybody, by the reason of the hand of the Lord, every of your requests will be supplied. Can somebody pray and say, Lord, the hand of favor, let it rest upon me. Can you ask for the hand of favor? Can you ask for the hand of favor this morning? In the mighty name of Jesus, your story must be written. Your story must be written. Your story must be written that you say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Everything that Ezra asked for was granted by the king. Why the hand of God was upon him. I want you to engage. I want you to engage God. This morning, I want you to engage God. I want you to engage God and say, Father, the hand of favor. Your hand is the hand of favor. Your hand is the hand of supply. Your hand is the hand of supply. Is somebody praying with me? Is somebody asking of God? Is the hand of supply? Is the hand of breakthrough? Is the hand of testimony? Is the hand of game changer? Can somebody pray and say, Father, let your hand rest upon me. The hand of supply, the hand of favor, the hand of no denier, the hand of protection, the hand of assistance, supernatural assistance supernatural enablement let it rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus is somebody praying can you knock on the door of heaven and say Lord help me help me my father help my marriage help my business help my children in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray listen to me I was in a meeting yesterday and there was a call a call for 10,000 naira from 50 people and in that meeting we were over a thousand 10,000 not 100,000 naira 50 people didn't show up for 10,000 this hand is the hand of supply hallelujah you are born again and broke come on man no this year, this hand will supply. Yeah. Come on. Do you understand what I'm saying? It does not add up. Born again and broke. No, 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 no. It doesn't add up. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not preaching carnality. He said, my God shall supply is the word of God according to his riches my God is rich he said he will supply so when is there's a need in the kingdom I will be part of those that will supply so there's a need in the kingdom and I cannot raise 10k there is a problem something is not adding up I want you to pray the hand of supply economic supply financial supply for the kingdom movement father let it rest upon me I want to be a kingdom partner can somebody begin to pray? I want to be a kingdom partner. I must partner with the kingdom. Financial partner. I want to partner with the kingdom. Can somebody pray that the work of your hand must be blessed? The hand when it rests upon you, the work of your hand will be blessed. Can somebody pray? I say, Lord, let your hand of finance. Let your hand of finance. Let your hand of finance. Let it rest upon me. Let your hand of finance come on man i can't be born again and broke i can't be born again and be poor no no lord let your hand of supply financial supply let it rest upon me i can't be born again and broke it does not add up lord it does not glorify your name that cannot be a partner in the kingdom i cannot put my money in the kingdom business it doesn't add up no it's an operation lord Lord is an aberration. Lord is an aberration. Lord is an aberration. Lord is an aberration. This aberration must stop. This aberration must stop. I'm a kingdom partner. I'm a kingdom financial partner. Lord, let this hand rest. Let it rest upon me. Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? He can live. Malekatasha. Makadere. Legabos. 
Kata, Masate Kata, in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody pray? Can somebody pray? In the name of Jesus, I want to be in the name of Jesus. Makate, Makatale, Makata, Masigara, Malekata Kato, Sakata, Malekata Saka, Makata Korabosa, Mate Karabosate, Matatera, Matekasa, in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, I want to be a kingdom partner. I want to be a kingdom financial partner. My father, the hand of financial breakthrough, let it rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, is somebody praying? The hand of blessing, let it rest upon me. Can you pray it again? Rest it on my business. Do you have a business? Let the hand of God rest upon your business. Let it rest upon your business. Let it rest upon my 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 business. Every dying business receive life. Every dying business receive life. Every dying business receive life. Every stagnant business receive life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every stagnant ambition, I shall receive life. Every dying ambition, I shall receive Receive life uh, by the hand of God. Ikarabo shakata lekata karuba seta. Can somebody pray? Can somebody pray? My business must come alive. My business must come alive. My source of income must not die. 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 The hand of God is the hand of life. The hand of God is the hand of power. The hand of God. God is the hand of glory. The hand of God is the hand of favor. Ezra got favor. Ezra got favor. By the reason of the hand of God, favor must come upon you. Favor must come upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this other economy, I am different. When they are saying there's a casting down by the hand of God, I am saying there's a lifting up in the name of Jesus. It is the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, there's something about the hand. We are not talking about touch and go. We are talking about touch and flow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When it touches, something flows. When it touches, something flows. Something flows to correct abnormality, to correct anomaly, to correct sickness, to heal. Something flows to deliver. Something flows. Luke 6, 19. The whole multitude sought to touch him. They sought to touch him. Do you know why? When there's that connection, virtue, there's a flow. Hallelujah. There is a flow. I want you to pray, Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. If you are sick, virtue for healing is in the house. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. There is virtue for healing. There is transfer and impartation. When the hand of God rests upon you, can you wrestle your healing? Can you wrestle with God? Maybe you are emotionally sick. People are emotionally sick. People are psychologically sick. People are financially sick. People are sick in their bodies. Can you pray and say, Lord, touch me? One woman touched Jesus and virtue left him and Jesus said, who touched me? They said, 
how could you say that somebody touched you? Because this multitude is plenty. He said, somebody touched me. Why? But you left me. Either you touch or it touches. There is a transfer. Can you wrestle and say, Lord, touch me this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch me. Let virtue flow from the throne of grace. Let virtue flow. Let virtue flow. Let virtue flow. Let virtue flow. flow. Our God is mighty. Our God is mighty. Our God is able. The barren conceives. The unfortunate is fortunate. The poor is blessed. The reckless becomes useful. The lost is found. The dead becomes alive. Can you pray and say, Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. This area of my body is sick. This area of my body needs healing. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Everything you did not plant in my life. Let it die. Let it die. Let it be uprooted. Hey, Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Virtue for correction. Virtue for correction. Virtue for recovery. Lord, touch me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. I believe in you. Touch me. 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 Everything in my body that you did not plant. My father, let it die today. Anything in my body that you did not plant, let it die today. Lord, let the virtue to kill all bacteria, all disease, all abnormality. Let it flow into my body. Touch me. 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 Thank you. You are the Lord that He led me. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word and you heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. You are the Lord, you are the Lord. That he led me, you are the Lord, my healer. Oh, you sent your word and you heal my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Or listening to our father in the Lord's testimony. And he said. He came into the exam hall. And they gave them eight questions. And he were to answer five. He said he looked at the first question. Blank. He looked at the second blank. Fourth, fifth, sixth, till the eighth question. Blank. So he said, he made up his mind to come back to do a receipt. That as he was standing up to go and submit an empty answer sheet, 
that the hand came upon him, that he felt it. And the hand, you know, when you are standing, and the hand now press you. He said, he answered all the eight. The hand now, yeah, look again. He looked again. Ah, I can answer it. He could answer all the eight. So he answered all the eight. He now wrote on the answer sheet, mark any five. I need a hand. Hand of confidence. You know, when you have confidence, we are not proud. We are not proud. It's just confidence. We don't glory in the flesh. Hallelujah. We don't. We are, we are of the circumcision. Our boast is not in the flesh. Our boast is not in the flesh. Do you understand? He answered the eight. He now put on top. Mark any five. I need that hand this year. I need that hand of assurance that what I have done will succeed. Do you understand? Not that we leave this shalik and nico. No, 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 I'm big with you. I want you to pray. This is our last prayer point before we close. Lord, the hand of assurance of success. Lord, let it rest upon me. The hand of not giving up. The hand of not abandoning what I start. That is what I'm talking about. Can somebody pray? Lord, let this hand rest upon me this year. Lord, that I will not be an abandoned project. That I will not be a failure. That is the hand of success. Is the of assurance of glory. Let it rest upon me. Let it rest upon my children. Let it rest upon my husband. Let it rest upon my wife. Let it rest upon my siblings. In the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of assurance of success. The hand that tells you you can't give up. That is the hand that I want. The hand that directs me to do. The hand that teaches me to know. Lord, let that hand rest upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. I hope somebody's praying. My father, my God, let this hand rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let this hand rest upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you. You are mighty, oh. Oh, Lord, oh, I buy you. You are mighty, oh. She be a yellow food, you are room. She be a yellow food, you are room. Oh, Lord, oh, I buy you.
we are in the periphery and the perimeter of supply. When we are in God's love. The moment God breathed into the clay, the word of God said, and it became a living soul. The moment we leave the father's compound. That breath that made us living soul leaves us. We become living dead. Hallelujah. We become what? Living dead. So when we become living dead, we are out of God's compound where there is supply. So when the prodigal son realized that he's out of supply and where he was, there was no supply. He said, let me go back home. That even my father's servant, they do better than this. So when the father saw him from afar, the father said, my son that was dead, he said, he's now alive. So if you are not in the father's compound this morning, you are alive or you're dead. You can even be flourishing. You can be doing well. You can be a top CEO. But beyond now, there's another life. So we don't want to lose all. So if we are not sure of where we will be after death. The best thing to do is to give our life to Christ because the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if that spirit is found in us, God by that same spirit will quicken us again. So there is a quickening after death. Hallelujah. I mean, Paul was saying, now this is my assignment, and somewhere in Philippians chapter 3, that I lay hold on that for which Christ laid hold on me. The reason why Jesus died, I want to get that reason. And now I want to know him. And that power that raised him up. If we have tasted small life, you understand? When you sit down on Sunday, like Sunday now, all of us, me, majority of everybody, majority of us, we eat rice. You know, it's good. You like Sunday afternoon. It's like an enjoyment afternoon. There is another enjoyment that will have no end. Hallelujah. There will be a new earth and there will be a new heaven. And I don't want to miss it. And I want to see you there. So let us sort it out. Please be sure that when you wake up on the morning time, we will see our Lord Jesus face to face. Be sure that your name is written in the book of life. Be sure that the Lord and Savior of your life is Jesus. So I want us to sort it out this morning. Maybe we have derailed or we have not at all. Maybe you're watching us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Man, you got to sort it out, man. You got to sort it out. Because the rich man opened his eyes, though. He now realized that there's life after death. Father, thank you for every prayer offered to you today. We will not be put to shame in our endeavors in the name of Jesus. Father, be glorified in our lives. Give us great testimony from today's service. And let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Let's pray for our pastor. That the Lord God Almighty will replenish him.
in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray for him.